Alright guys, welcome to Metro Exodus. I've never played the other ones, but I did a... I got caught up on the story with a video I watched, so I kind of know what's going on. Uh, we're just going to do normal. Get right into it. Get right into it, we will. Hmm. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. It's a really cool little intro thing. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Sad thing.
game looks so good. Noise is super annoying. Oh, and we're in. Let me just look at what's direct X. just to see what it was all about, get the settings down and whatnot. So, die spiders. Thanks, buddy. Sounds terrifying. What's going on? Why are those numbers keep showing up at the bottom right? So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. These guys are unloading the trolley. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Coal, yeah. 
Coolio went to get some more volunteers, but now we'll just cover the platform in the airlock. It looks like <laughs> isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beast got inside and noticed under the steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. Mucklachlach says he can't promise anything. Running short on filters. Time to improvise. I guess we'll just weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. Stampede watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still cold. Yawaya brought the welding apparatus. But we can't even start the work. As soon as we make the slightest noise, they start howling up there. Set up some traps. Okay. So that's good to know. There's some traps to watch out for. are creepy, man. This guy went flying. Holy shit. Something's gonna jump over that. Come on. This is so terrifying. God, man, I was dying. Hold on, we're coming. Keep us covered. Hold on. We'll get you out. Whoa, it's a tomb. A tomb? A tomb? What the hell? Is he alright? He's hurt. Come on, a tomb. Stay they with us. They didn't maul him that bad. Marga lights off. It's night time at this station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Here come his pockets. Uh, looks like Artyom has been on another one of these mad trips of talk. Put 
Hey, 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 how am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with a slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? What? Spartan blood? So one thing I have noticed is that Artyom, my, my my character never talks. Like in the game, like in that intro, he was talking, and in some loading screens, he like read out his journal entries. But he doesn't actually talk in the game. Like what the heck? You awake? He's just silent. It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. It's kind of weird. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? This game was so no good. no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. Okay. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. I feel like I'm gonna break that promise. Sub Doc? Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Hmm. All right, we can move. Still, lot of those Spartans. Um, born in '09. Admitted on. Come on, it's the third time. AB four. RH plus, what is positive? Radiation sickness, relapse, light form, proximal dose, blood transfusion. No going to the surface for a year at least. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. I can like turn up. On and off lights and stuff. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. What's up, guys? Hi. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. I know. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah, well. It's your life. Look at the little rats. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Hi. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time <coughs> on the surface. Uncle Artyom, yeah, well, don't worry. I believe you. 
<laughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> yeah. I'll probably forget. It's what's got us alive at the Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. Hey, you know. I can't even sleep since you told Ten me years. I'm still We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No wonder. No Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters take a few years. First episode might be a little long. I can't believe my eyes. Just so you guys know. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a sneak, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you. Me, right. gentlemen, give way. This He's a pretty popular guy. A few more scars, and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, how are you are the nurse of the mask, guys. Huh? You just stop crowding him. Man, we're all jamming out. Uh, uh, Privet, Artyom. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. What? Did I black out? Oh, okay. One week later. And I'm outside. What am I doing? Can I move? And more of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. What's up? Why, uh, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. Why does no one want to help? We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Okay. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. Lead the way, baby. Have you been to all these ruins? I don't know. I just got here. See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? my breath on the inside of the mask at the bottom. Again. Pick up 
the pace and you are going so slow. hate each other as much as they hate us. Oh, this is one of those flying things. They didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Activate photo mode. I still got 50 seconds. Damn, too high. Hey, Hartyom, help me get out there. Okay. Shit. Come up now. Trust them. Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the order commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Yeah. Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. 
We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Oh man. No, poor puppy. I'm dead. That's that's it. Game over. Good job. Oh. I am not dead. How convenient. He has a mask. Is that a rat with wings? Looks like a big ass rat with wings. Alright, there's gotta be like a weapon or something around here, right? anywhere in ramen Skoy. ramen school school to stay away from the highways blocked with scrap from there you have to walk of course at least the road ring ring road this place is alive all right but guys the guys they have in their army are healthy as bulls they're taking us to filtration camp but i don't think they'll keep us here long a couple of day tops days tops then they find some work for us i already heard the guards talking of being short on hands, I say. You guys drop everything and come over here. I'll get everything ready. Send this letter as soon as I can. Dad. How did I not read this one? Attention! The turntable is switching off.
cool. How did he not see me? He looked right at me. Animals. How can they? What can I do? A mutant? Who watchman? A human? How did it take you that long to notice? And, uh, how did you? Oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I need a gun. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Both crouched. It's quieter that way. Oh, you Stay close to the wall. Civil again, Yermak. So you can use your head after all. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here yes, and help me fix this. Come How did he not notice? This is. Come on, come on. Okay. This should be nothing for you. Morons! We are at war! One task won't be enough for you now, 
You want to see what? This is the universal growth and radio chamber. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit. This fucking sucks. Oh. So that's how everybody thought Do you hear that, that they were the only ones. You were right all along. Do you see? Yeah. Request from 2303. I can report that the number of personality external perimeters radio jamming station is as of 1 2 4700 people, 3800 of which number are special guard detail. Quiet extra means our maintenance 206 as command. Okay, so now it's not just Russia out there, it's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on! And you behave like fucking kids! Come on! All the guards will be here soon! Damn! Don't shoot! You can with him! I'm with you! Okay. You have to run! Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they are coming. Flashlight, knife. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! This dude teleports everywhere, man. Let's go. All unoperated Who are you? I'm Brian Valerijianek, the train engineer. Run now. Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. Okay. Give me a boost. All right. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Oh, okay. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. <laughs> Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Okay, so they're moving real slow. Can I just shoot them? I did it. Great job, Artyom. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Now we have to find Yermak. Hold C to choose one. 
Save you? time they'll be back I'll go to the engine it should be ready now you go up there and Come switch on, the Kim. turntable mechanism on and please be careful Alright, that's 
supposed to turn this thing? Let's do yeah. this together. Just a little. Legislation yeah, dictates really, they just, be like, killed. Got, In any case, I have escape. to get them out of town until it all blows right, over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you know misunderstanding. Well, I jump. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. If if not, not, then who? who, who? Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. Okay. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow Whoa. with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Now what's going on? Jesus. Stop the engine immediately and come out with your hands above your head. Oh. That was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Sorry, that's an honor. But look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said Shit! Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, sir, stop uh, But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Get back, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, finally! 
Play some good stuff. Now, keep writing to a stop. Drop your grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Leap over as soon as we slow down. Alright. Or you're trying to kill me because you don't like me dating your daughter. Married to your daughter. Yeah, so cut this shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have to do it. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You don't understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you carry, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander 
whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. It's just like a long intro thing. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm. Yes, more or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, <coughs> check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? And there's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. <sighs> Not at all. They are a command. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Euros, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? 
It's about time. Let's go or I'm and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh, come How on. About Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Uh, it sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round that should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, full oh, steam ahead. Uh, wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? What does that do? After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. I don't think I wanted to do that yet. But that was not what had caused the crew's Oops. euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? I don't know. Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, <coughs> let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away Let's from Let's go, Artyom. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I can't check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. 
It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even Whoops. those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. <laughs> that was great. Recording these what back to that? back, so I'm gonna check. Could you check it out? Sure. Okay, thanks for the crafting supplies. Take that off, put it on this instead. Okay, so I'm full. On everything. What? I'm playing with my crafting toys. Hi. Can you take a look around while you're inside? Okay. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Gorgeous as places in this game. Those bunnies? Why, oh, dude, you are slow. Way better. Artyom, there's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done. All right, so let's see. And put that onto that. Oops. Perfect.
Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Can't I swim? Canister. What are those things? Are they coming at me? What's up, Crow? Hi, Crow. <laughs> this where I'm supposed to go? I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. I've been spotted. It's the middle of daytime. Coming up on just in a little rowboat. Turns wrong. Oh. Oh, he doesn't? I don't know. Peace be upon ye, traveler. Ah, hello. Our father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. Okay. We are a peaceful lot, so please. Keep your weapons sheathed. Aye, aye. And welcome. won't even talk to heretics but i'll tell you everything i've seen Our in this place all that year under the cover of fog. oh it's the bridge guard silentia has fooled them just like the locals but unlike them the bridge guard have guns run there's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock we also have one but it's too small for all of us So, I'm confused what just happened here. So apparently now they're all bad people. Oh, 
I guess. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet a woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Have you seen the heretic sister? Of course I did. So you have seen me? While the true defenders of faith do all the work here. Fish, give me patience. So how do I get out of here?
Hey, if they say you worship the devil, that's true. Will you teach me? What? I'm making a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me. What? I'm getting out of here, man. You're nuts. Getting out of here. sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here, though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into jumping all those water bottles. Boy, that guy talks a lot. Stuff. 
still hear him talking back there. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Here's Artyom back from the abyss of the occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. <coughs> and then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, your whoa, wife whoa. is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Artyom. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Why are you pushing me? Don't be shy. Artyom, stop by my desk Thank once you. you're done talking to the old man. Jesus. I've got something for you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics? All right, I think. Control now. I'm gonna call it there, this... guys. Say this place used to be. Yep, great. I'm gonna call it here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.